Crazy. I had a conversation with Randy Hillier when lockdowns were happening, and it's crazy to think that we've even been in a lockdown. And one of the things Randy had said in regards to there being a healthy level of conflict and there being a dialogue in between the two sides, and there's no dialogue happening right now, which I think is really the most uh, uncomfortable part of this process. And especially when people feel that they, they've had the opportunity to at least express themselves, uh, that maybe they'd be more compliant to move forward. So I'm really surprised that this is the method that we're using to move forward. Yeah, I mean, I, th I think historically it's proven to be wholly ineffective. It leads to terrible things and we're closing off, as you say. I mean, it's not just the possibility that we might develop better solutions to our current problems. I mean, so the fact that we are so uh, myopically focused on 100% um, vaccination, I guess, that seems, I don't know, <laughs> I read Toronto Star yesterday, that seems to be what they're focused on, right? Mm -hmm. Um, so the fact that we're myopically focused on that means that we're not focusing on things like developing treatments that are being used by very brave Canadians every day. And honestly, if we just used what we've got, the knowledge we've got, we'd be fine. I have no doubt about that, right? Mm -hmm. um, you know, but it's not only that, but I think you make a very good point that being able to express yourself as a citizen and believe that others hear you and value your contribution, even if they don't ultimately agree with you, is a necessary, there's, there's an integrity to that process that a flourishing, well-functioning democracy requires. 